going from black or very dark hair to blonde or any really light tone is a good deal more complex than a standard hair colour change. We have to do a couple of very special techniques to get this all to work. One of which is a thing called selective colour, which is a pretty scary looking tool, but don't worry, we've got a very simple technique for making it work. Okay, if you're working with black hair, you're going to have to use a curves adjustment layer to lighten the shadows and tones in that hair so you get some detail. Now just quickly, it'll look something like this. I'll just go to my layers palette, click on adjustment layers and add in a curves layer. What you try to do here is you're looking at shadows and you're trying to bring out detail. So just gently lighten up the details there and that brings out details in the shadows and the highlights. I'll just cancel out from this so you can just see that there. This hair that I've got here is actually quite good enough just to use a selective adjustment layer but if you find that it doesn't work out what we're about to do put in that curves layer first and then just lighten the hair just a little bit by dragging on the curves line. Okay, now I'm just going to load a selection first so we get a good selection around the hair. I've already made this earlier so I'll go select, load selection and I've got that channel all set to go called Hair Gear Hair and I'll say OK and I'll add in my new adjustment layer for selective colour. We'll use this to change the dark hair to blonde. Now when we do this we do not need to fool around with every single setting on this. We just go to the colours drop down and we'll only need to play around with neutrals and blacks. Now we start with neutrals and to get blonde we just drag cyan down to somewhere between the 35 and 40 and magenta to about an equal setting. Now the hair's going to look very straw or maybe even a little bit green. Don't worry about that, we'll clear that up as we go. The yellow slider, we can use this as kind of a saturation control here. So if you drag the saturation down by dragging yellow down to the minus figures, you can then take some of that green and yellow tone out. Black, you can use this as a lightness and darkness control. I wouldn't play around with this too much just yet. It might be best to then do the blacks first before we fill around with this black slider in the neutrals. So let's do that now. We'll go to the drop down and choose blacks. Blacks controls all the shadows. So if you do want to have blonde shadows or blonde dark hair, you'll need to adjust this particular part of the selective color as well. So I'll do that. I'll drag the cyan down and that changes the shadow colors from their current very dark to black to a very ready tone. Now if you drag the magenta along with it, you'll find that you don't need to drag it into equal amounts, otherwise it looks green. It just needs to be dragged along a little bit because you're making shadows here, so it doesn't need quite as much. So that should be looking a little bit more balanced there. The yellow slider, again, we can use this kind of like a saturation control, but it behaves a little bit differently here in the black channel, but if you just use very small changes, it works effectively enough as a saturation control. The black slider itself is a straight lightness and darkness control. Again, be careful with the use of this. If you go in too hard, it's going to look very unnatural. But if you just use it gently, gently, you can get the right sort of effect that you're after. Okay, now to balance this out, we go back into the neutrals from the drop down, and we can now fine tune everything according to how much blonde we want in the highlights and how much we want in the shadows. Fill around with the saturation to get it all to balance. Fiddle with the magenta to see if that's all the right sort of tone. Maybe play with the cyan a little bit more. Do I want it very yellow? Do I want it not quite so yellow or a bit red? And I think I'll say I'll be happy. That's a very strong sort of platinum blonde. It's really quite exaggerated. I think I'll say that's more than good enough for my taste at least. Let's put it down to there, I think. Yep, that'll do, mate. Say OK. So, you've got very dark hair and now very blonde hair. Now, you might think that this is enough as it is, but here is another finishing touch which I highly recommend. It's a thing called Apply Image and it'll give you a great effect to bring out some more shadow detail. It can look a little bit artificial with this incredibly light hair. So here's what you do. With your selective color layer active, 
go to the image layer and use apply image. Now what this is going to do is it's going to merge in the background shadows with your mask. If you have a look here at the little thumbnail you see it's getting all these shadows all over it. So now that we've applied the image it looks like we've lost a lot of the blonde detail but I'll just show you the mask now so you can see it. It looks like that. Now this has a big advantage for us and I'll show you why. I'll just turn it all back on again. Is Select that layer mask then go to Image Adjustments, Levels. What we'll do now is we're going to change how light and how dark those shadows are in this mask. Now we'll see something exciting. When you start to fool around with this, you're bringing in more detail and more blonde. Just drag in the white tone, balance it all out. You can increase all of these or decrease all of these according to taste, but the main thing you want to do is to make it lighter to bring in just the amount of blonde you actually want to introduce for this image. Now I think that looks pretty darn good. That looks quite natural, good shadows and very solid. I think I'll say OK. So there we go. There is some blonde hair. That's before and that's after. Of course you'll need to do some cleaning up around the edges. Don't forget to clean up those edges where it's a bit too light. Just grab yourself an eraser or a paintbrush and just paint them out very, very gently is my recommendation. But that's the basic technique in a nutshell.